Here we have sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, n over n to the fourth power plus 1. In this video, we'll use the integral test to see if this infinite series converges or not. So we'll consider this improper integral. Integral from 1 to infinity, x over x to the fourth power plus 1 dx. And the connection between this improper integral and this infinite series is that if this converges, we can also say this converges. And if this diverges, we can also say that diverges. So let's go ahead and do that. Because in this case, we can integrate x over x to a fourth power plus 1. And this is a pretty fun one, so let's go over this. And to integrate this, notice that we have an x on the top, and we have x to a fourth power. We will purposely look at the x to a fourth power as x to a second power and then square. Let me show you. I will put this down as integral from 1 to infinity, the x on the top over, this is going to be parentheses, x square and then square like that, which is still the same as x to the fourth power, and then we have the plus 1, and then we have the dx. And the reason for us to do this is so that we can use a u substitution, let u be x to the second power, and then we happen to have an x on the top already. We can cancel things out very nicely. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just write down that u equals to x to the second power, and then that's differentiable both sides, we get du, that's 2x dx, and then divide both sides by 2x, so we have dx equals to du over 2x. So let's take this integral into the u world. So I will put this down right here. Well, we also have to change the number, right? So let's see. This is 1, and that's actually when x goes from 1, right? This is the number in the x world. x goes from 1 to infinity. But then, if I want to take this into the u world, when x is 1, we put the x right here. 1 squared, which is just 1, and that's the same as u is equal to 1. u will be 1. And then if x was infinity, uh, let me just write this nicely right here, okay? If x was infinity, put the infinity right here. Infinity squared, we still have infinity. Therefore, u is also infinity. So we are still trying to you know, change the limits of integrations, but in this case, it happens to be the same as the original. 1 to infinity here, 1 to infinity here. But then you have to do this very carefully, okay? And then the x is still on the top. Let me just put that down. Over the x squared in red, it's a u. So we have u squared and then plus 1. And then the dx is du over 2x. So let me put this down, du over 2x. And as we can see, this x and that x cancel each other out. And now let's just work in the u world. So let's see what do we get. We have 1 over 2. Let's take that outside of the integral. So we have 1 over 2. And then the integral in terms of u will be going from 1 to infinity. And then this is 1 over u squared plus 1 du. All right, so how are we going to integrate this 1 over u squared plus 1? This is just inverse tangent. So we know this is going to be equals to 1 half times the inverse tangent. And this is in the u world, and it goes from 1 to infinity. So let me put this down as 1 to infinity. And plugging infinity into u first, subtract plugging 1 into u. Okay? And let me just put on the 1 half all the way to the front and open the parentheses. Put the infinity right here, so we have inverse tangent of infinity, and then subtract when I put a 1 in there. So minus inverse tangent of 1. All right, so the 1 half is still all the way in the front. But then what's inverse tangent when x goes to, when u goes to infinity? This right here is pi over 2, okay? And then minus, and what's inverse tangent of 1? This right here is pi over 4. And as we can see, we have 1 half times pi over 2 minus pi over 4. You can go ahead and do more. You can go ahead and say multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Get the common denominator and then do this as 1 half times, this is just 2 pi minus pi on the top, which is just pi over, this is the same denominator, which is 4, right? And then all this is just pi over 
2 times 4 on the bottom, pi over 8. And all we're doing is just to show that this improper integral will give us a finite result. Namely, this improper integral converges. Therefore, we get to say that this infinite series, it converges as well, right? And the reason for that is by integral test. Okay, so that's it. This infinite series, I should say the word also converges by integral test because this integral, we get a finite number, which it was a convergence. That's it.